Good afternoon, YouTube. How's it going? Your favorite gender fugitive, Lonnie, here. And, you know, I'm back, like I always will be. And I wanted to start off by getting into some things I've noticed, and that is how the way in which queer or trans or LGBTQ or however you want to say it, this course oftentimes is used in a, a distract distraction way. It's used in almost like a psyop way. Um, and let me explain what I mean by that, right? So just today, right, Florida uh, Medical Board uh, essentially banned medical transition for all um, trans people under the age of 18. So that means hormones, puberty blockers, surgery, uh, any sort of healthcare, like also Medicaid in that state no longer provides services. So like if you are on Medicaid and you're trans or your family's on Medicaid and you're trans, that's out of the picture. And this has been one of a series of multiple states over the last year, um, essentially war on trans people. Simple as that, it's, it's, it's war. It's nothing, we can say it's nothing else. Um, nothing short of genocide. But I, I, will, I want you to notice something and something you probably have already noticed. That this will probably make the rounds in a couple hours, a couple days. People will talk about it. Big figures will talk about it. Different spaces and communities online will talk about it. And then I want you to, to notice something after that. Notice the length at which it's talked about, like the amount of days, the weeks. And then watch it disappear. And then what you see is replaced by it. What you see is replaced by it is the same sort of set of discourses, right? Where issues of, of, of who, what pronoun to is, 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 you know, valid or not, or whom's identity can be whom's. And then, you know, a lot of like definitions of what is this and this gender. Like you'll have these things that like, will give you this impression about what trans issues are. And they all fall down into this idea of ideology. Or this idea that the uh, main battleground is that of ideology and culture within trans issues. And what you'll see left out particularly is any sort of, well, material uh, conversations. In particular, this one. Like, it, it, it's weird how something can be Essentially, like this has like devastating effects, and this is just gonna, and this is this is gonna be, this is one in a long line, and will continue to be a long line of ways in which the state, the fascist state, uh, will try to erase and kill trans people. Yet that's not getting, that will not get that much attention. Like that will get attention for a second, right? And then watch slowly or rather quickly as we fall back into the same patterns where folks who are you know under 30 get on here and talk about things that have been talked about for maybe like a decade on Tumblr that like ultimately don't really do anything right they ultimately have no purpose and you know I feel like that's intentional I feel like you know, you can you you'll see even even the idea of someone coming on here and talking about like why do we always talk about the same three things within like queer discourse or trans discourse? Why does it seem like very repetitive? Why is like the same three questions like choking on like almost having us in a chokehold? And I feel like that's a purpose. You know, there's a purpose a a specific purpose as to why those are the reasons, and it, it has like I think two effects. You know, the primary effect is it does keep people away from looking at these material issues. Stuff that's happening right now in front of our faces is that affecting people in real time. But it also has another idea. And I think this is also the a problem. From the ins, from the outside in, right? Looking inward, like if you're a, a cis hetero person, you're, you're someone who isn't really engaged in the trans community, you're not trans yourself, you're not queer yourself, you just, you just see on. It has people who aren't give the impression that these are the important things because that's all that at least in an online setting, trans people seem to talk about, queer people seem to, to go on about. So now what it, it, it gives the impression for everyone else is that, well, either one, right? You think that, well, these issues are frivolous, right? Even though the issues themselves aren't frivolous, is the idea that, well, you know, this doesn't seem to matter. This seems to matter as much as it is when I turn on the screen and it stops mattering the minute I turn the screen off. Uh, and this even falls into political work where 
certain leftists, uh, like online will say that, well, oh, LGBTQ issues are just a distraction. Anytime they talk about it, anytime it's brought up, it is merely just to distract from working class issues. Right? You have these sort of reactionary mindsets. Um, or even on the sort of quote unquote ally side, um, is that you won't see any actual movement in action that says that people have it materially helping us and, keep, and, and actually trying to have solidarity. Because in their mind, the most you got to do is remember some words, change your lingo. And I don't know, say trans right in the tweets, and that's it. And like, it's like these two, like, along with the, the the kind of distraction element, essentially like kneecaps us. Like, it kneecaps any sort of movement because all the energy isn't being directed into orgs, isn't being directed to stuff on the ground, isn't being direct, directed to any sort of action that will uh, cause material change. All it's gonna do is almost like in an incestuous way, like stay in the same place. It's, it's almost like it's a stop and lock. And I think that's something people should be paying more attention to. You should probably, you should, you know, obviously look into these things as well and research these things, but also like you take those research and that understanding that those like the things that are happening in real time and then like notice the pattern of what goes on. Because I I'm telling you, this it's just been clockwork. This will get five, seven days at max of attention from big like trans influencer or political commentators, da da da. And then the next week is we're defining for the 50th time what is a woman or like, can you call yourself frog or not? Like things that like, again, you can turn the thing off and it won't, it, it, it stops affecting you. That's important. I think it's important we look out for that. But anyway, bye.